religion. Let's look at that as uh, talking about distortions. What is religion? That's, a, that's an interesting, uh, <laughs> it's a giant part of, of the human experience, but I've always seen religion as um, an investigation into the possibility of a life beyond this one. I think that's the essence of all religions. I mean, at least I think so. I'm trying to think of a religion that uh, Confucianism, Confucianism isn't a religion nope. because it doesn't deal in an afterlife. Nope. I'm not even sure Buddhism is a religion, really. It's more of a philosophy. Uh, but uh, most, uh, Abraham, well, the Abrahamic religions, all the many varieties of Christianity and uh, Islam and, uh, and Judaism, all talk about what happens after, after you die. So religion is kind of an investigation into do you live after you die or not. And uh, this is kind of interesting, I think, because that tends to make you a little bit future-oriented. In other words, if you believe in one of these Abrahamic religions, what you do now, theoretically, has some effect on what happens to you in the future. It makes you future-oriented. I'm not a religious person, okay? But I can see the benefit of religion to people in general. It directs them towards the future. It's generally good. I mean, that's why you save money as opposed to spend it now. You're thinking of your future. That's why you have a pension. Maybe in some cases, that's why you act in a civilized way instead of acting like a criminal, because you're looking at the future consequences of it. So when you destroy religion, you're destroying really the you know most important and basic uh, view of the future. I mean, yeah, it's a thought. Well, I think Nietzsche had the same thought, right? That was his, uh, that was his worry that how man would, uh, what would replace it, that man would could man set up its its own guidepost to think about the future when religion fades away? And I think, um, you know, I think the answer so far is no, that people cannot, because I think that the way of thinking about that, you could think about, call it the future. You could also think of that as just the second and third order consequences of your conduct today, you know, of your decisions today. And it's almost as though people are totally oblivious to second and third order consequences. Like they don't even factor in, whether it be the lockdowns, you know, it's just, well, we just want to, want to stop the spread of this virus. So that's, that's it. That's really the only thing that matters. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. Forget about future indirect and delayed consequences. Exactly. And the thing with religion, I believe is disappearing in the U S it's really disappeared in Europe. Uh, in Europe, uh, nobody goes to churches. Very, very few people believe anymore in uh, any form of Christianity. In fact, the only ones in Europe that believe in religion are the newly imported Mohammedan invaders, which is more reason to think that the uh, you know the newly arrived invaders, the Mohammedans, are going to uh, conquer the Christians because they actually believe in something and look towards the future. So. The disappearance of religion, and once again, I'm not a religious person. I don't, I don't believe in any of these things. If you're philosophically oriented, okay? I mean, if you want to be a philosopher, yeah, it's great to get along without religion, which is like rote stuff that people tell you you must believe if you're going to be part of our group. Okay, that's one thing. But most people, for one reason or another, are not philosophically oriented. So perhaps they actually need religion. To, to get by in life, but religion is disappearing, so it's adding to uh, to chaos. So this is this is a distortion. Uh, I, I I think religion distorts things, but the lack of religion dis- distorts your psychology too. If you're not going to replace it with philosophy, which it's not. So right. So this is a. I think you just demonstrated a good example of the benefit of not have not being identity obsessed, or not lumping yourself in a category. Uh, you are not a religious person, and yet you can see the critical value that a religion may have in a society. Like you can, both things can be true. And we live in a world now where I think the idea is, no, no, you're either with us or against us. I mean, it's uh, like our culture is a George W. Bush culture. Like there's only, it's with us or against us. Yeah, that makes it a pretty dumb culture. So, <laughs> sure. you, know, you know, I'm I'm happy to talk about, you know, in the past, I mean, I would make fun of people's religions, uh, but that's a bad idea. I don't, I don't like to 
destroy the foundations of other people's lives. That's 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 cruel and destructive, and you know leaves them kind of adrift and so forth. So I'm happy to you know have a discussion with a religious person about things, but you know it's it's got to be pleasant and respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, but people don't have a religion anymore, so they're really adrift. So yes. that's a distortion. I. I think eventually it's going to snap back and uh, there's going to be some kind of religion that becomes fashionable that's going to replace, you know, what's left of Christianity. Of course, there are so many varieties of Christianity, it's pretty hard to generalize. But Yeah, I think so. I mean, and what has filled religion's place is wokeism, I think, because it's hard to see that as anything other than a religion. You're right. It is a religion, actually. It's, uh, yes, you've got to have something to believe in. Yeah. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're quite correct. That's, that's what it is. It's uh, communism was a religion. It's, uh, you know, the church and the state has been replaced by the party mm-hmm. and the state. China is a perfect example. The state is one thing, and the party, to quote Chairman Mao, is the helmsman that sets the course, that sails the ship from above, much the way the church during the Middle Ages kind of set the tone that the secular rulers. So yeah, wokeism is is a new religion. 